Okay. Well, we are back again, and this is the sealed song of ascents on Psalm 131. We commence in prayer. Precious Lord, we pray in your presence there is fullness of joy. As we proclaim your word, Lord God, we ask that you may reveal your light to us, that the word of God will become flesh to us, and that your presence will shine upon us in a mighty way. We cover this broadcast with the blood of Jesus, and this episode 131 in your holy presence, and we trust the Lord as you help us, we will ascend in Jesus' name. Amen. My permission, let me play this beautiful song from Pastor Tumaini and uh, Agi Mugeni. One thirty-two. Okay, let me just. Um, I promise you, I'm gonna play this song at some point in this broadcast. But let's just go straight into Psalm 132. We are hungry. We are thirsty. We are ascending. Then I'm gonna tell you why we have the term a song of ascents in 15 chapters of the Psalms. I want to show this to you because probably you've just been reading and you've never noticed. I want to show you something here. 15 of the chapters from Psalm 121 to Psalm 134 contain the title, A Song of Ascent. And as I come to proclaim this word, I come to also bring understanding to us about divine focus, that we may be able to focus on the eternal things, the things that matter, that we be able to focus on those things. There's one man that said, Focus, if we are to use the acronym FOCUS, is that, um, you know, F is for follow, O is one, C is cause, U is until, and S is successful. FOCUS, follow one cause until successful. It's important that we understand that FOCUS is very key. In the photography world where I am, you cannot make a photograph without good focus. You need to focus the image, and then once you focus on it, you can make sure you can see everything you want to show, and then you go ahead and photograph. Without focus, you cannot be able to see well well. In fact, focus will determine the direction in which you are looking at. Whatever you're focusing upon, will need and will lead you into that direction. For a sniper in the, war, in the war field, what determines taking out the enemy and revealing his position is focus. If at all he does not focus, he will miss his target. And if he misses his target, then the enemy will know that is where that person is hiding and they will take him out. So it's important for us to know this thing about divine focus. And Psalm 131 is beautiful three verses of the Song of Ascents. Let me mention something about the Song of Ascents. The Song of Ascents are 15 Psalms that are from the book, from Psalm chapter 120 to 134. So it begins with this uh, words, sung a song of ascents. Now many interpretations have been given for these ambiguous words. But let me just share a few thoughts. One of them is that in the Holy Temple courtyard, there were, you know, there were and there was a big stairway, ultra wide stairway, that contained 15 large semicircular steps that ascended into the inner section of the courtyard. So the Levites, whose job was to accompany the temple service with song and instrumental music, would stand on these steps and sing these 15 psalms. So these psalms were sung on a high ascendant musical note. These psalms were sung starting in a low tone of voice and steadily ascending to a higher one. These psalms were sung by the Jews who ascended from Babylon to Israel in the times of Ezra the scribe. 
one of the inspirations to do this for me came from Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. He says that Ezra devoted himself to the study and to the public reading of the word of God. And this is what 150 days of Psalm series has always been, the public proclamation of the word of God through these channels. And we bless the name of the Lord for allowing us to do these things. So as we read Psalm 131, I want to mention also that these psalms were sung by the Jews when they would ascend to visit the Holy Temple three times annually for the festivals. These psalms exalt and elevate God. It's important for us to know these wonderful things, and I just shared this wonderful uh, revelation here and uh, quoting a wonderful writing of Rabbi Naphtali. We thank God for the beautiful knowledge about the Song of Ascents. Now we go to um, Psalm 131. Oh, a Song of Ascents. I love this song. It says, A Song of Ascents of David. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have ex- I have stilled and quieted my soul like a wind child with its mother. Like a wind child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. This is a proclamation of divine focus that you will not start getting out of the road into chasing the squirrels when you're supposed to be on the main hunt for the real game. What I mean is, instead of taking time to develop spiritually, it says that being strengthened with all power in the book of uh, First Corinth, First uh, no Colossians chapter one. And verse 11, it says that being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. That it's important for us to have a divine focus, that not to lose ourselves to things that are too wonderful for us, not to lose ourselves with great matters, but to keep focused, to remain still, to remain plugged in, to remain charging. <laughs> you know, I don't know how what your, your, what your practice is, but I've known people who, in their practice of charging their devices, they'll charge their device for five minutes, and when their device is not yet full of power, they'll be using their devices Then the device again goes off power. Then they plug it in again. Then it charges just a little bit. Then they remove it again. And in doing that, the battery of that particular device is destroyed. Simply because you need divine patience for divine focus. You need divine patience for divine focus. You need it. It has that my heart is not proud. You need to bring yourself to Psalm 105. The same way that it says there, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. It says that, hallelujah, glory to God. Whoever slanders his neighbor in secret, him I will put to silence. Whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart, him I will not endure. The moment there is pride inside us, then God will cause us not to be, uh, you know, he will not, he will not endure us. He will not cause us to experience his presence. Because he will not endure the proud. In fact, the word of the Lord says he gives grace to the humble and oh, hallelujah. He resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. It's a joy and great delight to know that for divine focus, we need a heart that is clean and that is not proud in any way. So the heart being not proud is a place of humility. And you, the moment you find yourself saying, I am humble. Check yourself for pride because pride is one of the most dangerous spirits, dangerous vices. Pride says 
I am not proud. That is what pride does. Pride says I am not proud. And you need to understand that when God brings us to the place of understanding, we get this knowledge directly. We focus on one cause until successful. And the cause is, Lord, I want to please you. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. I have stilled and quieted my soul like a wind child with its mother. Like a wind child is my soul within me. That your soul is the main cause of conflicts within the body. The soul is very crucial because it contains three very important elements. The soul, as again I mentioned it in another time, is a composition of the mind, will, and emotions. When you see things originating from your emotions, your soul, you are a solely called individual. We have to allow the Lord to take center stage of our soul, of our self, the person, the heart, the center of your belief need to be the Lord. The center of my belief need to be the Lord. That the center of my belief, the heart is not the red pumping organ in our hearts. The heart is the center of our beliefs. We must come to the center of our beliefs and know that my center of all my beliefs is the Lord Jesus Christ. I put my confidence in him alone. As I proclaim this song of ascent, I say my heart is not proud, O oh Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. And this only can be done through the grace of God. And I want to bless the Lord for, I made a promise at the beginning of this and I said, I'm going to play you a new song by Agi Mugeni and, uh, and uh, Pastor Tumaini. And here it goes. I keep my promise right here in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> A song of ascent. We start it all over again. I'll not be able to play all of it, but you can get a gist of it. <laughs> Brand new, it is. I think it's two weeks old. grace of God. This is it all. It says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, it says that, hallelujah, and verse number 8, it is by grace through faith you've been saved. Not of yourself that anyone should boast. It is the grace of God. Hallelujah. We give glory to God. So you head out to YouTube and uh, check out Agi Mugeni featuring Pastor Tumaini. But let's play it a little bit more. This protects also. Yeah. 
haya 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 that is it baby uh, beloved of god and let me tell you what we thank god because we are entering into the midnight hour right now and the beautiful time it's also uh, 3 a.m in another time zone but it's 8 a.m in nairobi on the 7th of november and we give glory to god we come now to psalm 132 in the next video shalom i'll see you in the next video